Hello once again YouTube, I just left off, I made a video about relationships, I'm sorry I haven't been, you know, making videos daily as I promised, it's just that um, I've been really busy, all of a sudden, poof, 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 all of a sudden, and um, you know, yeah, I got busy and everything, so, well here we are today, it's pretty, it's night time, but you know, better late than never, <laughs> you, you know, you know what Sleeping Brown said? You Sleepy Brown is in um, Mijito X. She's got his channel, Mijito X. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. But um, if you didn't say it right, go to Super Eagle, search up How to Be Mexican about the Seis, part six. Um, but he's like, you know what he say? It ain't Mexican if it ain't late. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Nah, I know a lot of you didn't know I was from Mexico, but yeah. Anyways, ignore that. I'm here to talk about you. I don't know. I'm here to talk to you guys about types of girls why am I gonna talk to you about types of girls because it just popped into my mind but still so the things that I've noticed I'm not really a uh, girl I'm not really that I'm not a girl guru or anything like that but I do give pretty good advice when it comes to girls according to my cousins and his friends but um and pretty much everybody that's asked me for advice, but yeah, I I guess I gave good advice. So, you know, I'm here to talk to you about types of girls, and um, let's start this video off before I forget what I was going to say. Number, number one girl type type of girl I see is not really, not not a lot of, mostly guys, but girls, I find this in girls too. There's the jealous types of girls. Now, these are the type of girls that you can't even say hi to a friend, or they think you're flirting with them automatically. Now, I know my friend Alan is dating a girl, I'm not gonna say her name, but you guys will find out what time she is when I point it out. But um yeah. I remember I used to have an ex girlfriend, I used to be jealous type. Anyways, the second type of girl I see is the what you call them overly attached girls. Now I know that's not what they're called but I forgot what they're called. But uh, yeah these I see it's mostly in girls, not in guys. So, you know, girls out there, I'm sorry. But this is what I see. Now, that's, these type of girls are girls that are... Like, they're basically glued onto you. They don't separate from you, from you out of anything. Now, these girls might or might not be the jealous type. If they are, that's a bad combination. But still, these girls are overly obsessive. You, you, you're into everything, basically. Now, they stick with you no matter what. Alright? Um... Um, I had a girl like that too, but you know, that we should have done 10 ounce of what year since we broke up. But, um, yeah. Number three. What was number three? Number three, number three, number three, number three, number three. <sighs> number three. Oh, yeah. There's a really chill back and laid girls. Now, these are the type of girls that I like to call. I don't really give a. You know, I'll try to censor that out. I, I don't really give a fuck about. I'm with, nah, he said, I, I, gotta, I like to call these girls the I don't give a fuck girls. Now, these girls are really chill back and laid, you know, and everything. They um, they really don't care if you go talk to a girl or not, unless you start flirting with them, then that's when stuff gets serious. But these are the kind of girls that I really like, because then I can at least go talk to some friends without them getting jealous and everything. Did I? Um, I think I had a girl like that before, I'm not sure. Um, Alright, number four, I think we're on. Um, the number four type of girl is the girl that tries too much to be, to get attention. Now, these are the type of girls that will wear, they'll wear specific, specific kind of colognes and, you know, what not colognes, perfumes and deodorants and makeup to get a guy to, you know, pay attention to her. Now, I don't really see the need for that because if a guy likes you, then he automatically is going to be giving uh, his attention. Now, I know it doesn't seem like that because, you know, us guys are, you know, not all of us, some of us are kind of shy, so we might try to hide that inside. I'm sort of like that in a way, but, you know, you know, if we like you, we'll, we'll find a way to give an attention without having to show it in front of everybody. But, um, yeah, just don't try too hard, guys. Um, number five, uh, these are the girls, okay. These types of girls, um, they get mad over everything. 
basically. Not necessarily over any any little thing, but you know, over things that are kind of retarded. Now this is this is where Alan's school comes in. Now if Alan or you know you know who you are, Alan's girlfriend, are watching this, don't be offended by what I'm saying. I'm just saying I don't think you should be this type of girl. But here, I'm gonna explain it. Um these types of girls get mad over like like little things like um like you're walking like oh, all right now the, i want to point out a specific girl and i'm not sure if she's watching this or not but if you are you know who you are um me and me and this girl my friend uh, ashley we were walking um i was walking into where her dad worked because alan was walking maria so i walked her and you know the street like was still like blinking red or red but um i started crossing the street and she's like wait no wait what are you doing and she crossed the street with me and we, we made it across the street a lot. Apparently, I don't know how to cross the street because first she got mad at me and me because of that. And God dang it. And then there's also, I'll talk about that that, that thing a different time. But uh, now Maria gets mad around the same thing, except not as much as she, but fuck. But um, yeah. Alright, number six. I think we're on. Number six. Um. Mm, okay number six these type of girls don't necessarily try too much in a relationship now don't get me wrong there's guys that do this too but and there's guys that do the other thing wrong that do everything too but mostly girls i see this in girls as soon as they get what you what they want they like how do i put it they they stop trying basically. So they stop wearing makeup and everything. Girls, girls, if you're gonna wear makeup to try and impress a guy, either don't wear makeup and impress the guy, the guy a different way, or wear makeup all throughout that relationship. Because then guys are gonna think of you. Because the guys gonna think of you differently. Now take this from me, someone who's done, who's been through this before. But you know, I'm just saying you should really like either not wear makeup throughout the whole relationship from the beginning. Or wear makeup in the beginning and wear the finger throughout, throughout the relationship. Because, um, you know, that's happened to somebody before. But, um, yeah, this goes. Now, the next type of girls, and I'm not really pointing out to anybody in the crowd, but um, these type of girls, as soon as they see what they want, they'll do whatever they need to get what they want. Now, this sort of compares to the other type of girls. Now, what these girls do is if they see a guy they like, they might put on makeup and, you know, this really... This really killing for fruit that just hypnotizes guys out of nowhere. But not, yeah, that is just, that is just walking past you and then you just get the scent. Then you want to go and talk to them, right? Right. Um, but yeah, trust me, don't. But um, girls, if you're going to do that, please try to be... How do I put this? Specific to who you're doing it. Because if you're walking past like a line of guys... Any one of those guys are going to go talk to you except for that one guy or every single one of those guys are going to talk to you. Now you don't want that. You want like one specific guy to talk to you. In order to do that, you got to go talk to him. And when you're talking to him, wear that perfume. Hypnotize him. There you go. I'm sorry, guys. But, you know. I. Now, that's just something I've seen a lot throughout the streets and everything. And, um... I just feel like I need to point that out. And this is the only place I could point it out. Now, I know I'm not a really big YouTuber like those. I've only got like seven or eight subscribers. So if you guys can go and share your videos with everybody, like, favorite, comment, um, you know, help me get up to the, at least, like, be behind, because right now I'm, like, way behind the shed. I want to be at least behind them, you know, like Nigga Higa, mm, Matthew Santoro, Old Time Tense, a bunch of guys but you get the point of smash pewdiepie um but yeah the game theories and everything so if you guys can really help me reach out there i'd be really grateful but um yeah for now we're here with our seven subscribers all right uh another thing you guys think i should cut my hair or keep it long i want your opinion and when i make my videos should i make it with or without my glasses again i want your opinion leave it down in the comments below or i might put the facebook and you know twitter and shit down in the description and you guys can message there, you know, what 
you know, just leave it down in the comment below because I really want you guys' opinions. Um, I think that's pretty much all time we have for today. So this is Richard signing off. God signing off with it. Put my keys and I can't find the keys. So you know, the Reggie Mary signing off too as well. Peace. Peace.